Wednesday, everybody. Meteorologist Hunter Forrest here with your tropical update as of this Wednesday afternoon. Now, there's two areas we're watching right now, but the good news is you see this cold front that's going through Florida right now all the way down towards Texas. It's a pretty strong one, and it's going to continue to make its way down towards the south. Now, why is that some good news? Well, because see these two areas out here right now that we're watching this one in orange and this one in yellow here. Now they don't have super high odds of development. 20% chance of the next seven days for this area in yellow. 40% chance for this area in orange, which is invest 94 L. Now this cold front is going to continue to make its way down towards the south. So if something was to develop through this area, it would help keep these storms suppressed down to the south. So that is some good news. A lot of the models are taking whatever this tries to form into and either taking it out to sea or down towards Florida, over towards the Yucatan Peninsula, and same with this area in yellow. Now, Invest 94L, those chances of development have continued to gone down the last couple of days. So that is some good news there. Earlier this week, it was up to about a 60% chance of development. Then yesterday and earlier today, it was down to a 50% chance. Now it's down to a 40. So that's some good news there. But if the next name was to develop, it would be Nadine. But the good news is it's really not looking like it's going to turn into much. And same with this area here. This area only has a 10% chance in two days, 20% chance in the next seven days. And again, if this area was to develop, it's looking like it would stay around the Yucatan Peninsula, making its way into Mexico. So a lot of land interaction wouldn't have much time to really develop into anything significant. So that is some good news there. And again, as we take a look at our 2024 Atlantic hurricane names, we're all the way down towards Milton. Now, the next name on the list would be Nadine. After that, Oscar down towards Patty, Raphael, Sarah, Tony, Valerie, and William. We still have about a month and a half left of hurricane season, so hopefully we don't even make it to Nadine. Hopefully the hurricane season just kind of shuts off. But again, there are two areas we're watching right now. So we still have all the way towards the end of November to continue watching. But here's the end of hurricane season right around here, just next to the December 1st area. You'll see we have just uh, the activity just really continues to go down over the next couple of weeks. But again, we still have fairly warm waters out there in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean. So still we have to be vigilant over the next couple of weeks as we head towards the end of hurricane season. And not necessarily, and even though it ends November 30th and starts back up again June 1st, there's always still the chance you could see a named system as you go throughout the winter months. Normally, they're not really much of a concern. They stay out to see if something does develop and normally they're much weaker than normal. But again, that hurricane season ending November 30th, peak activity continuing to go down as we go throughout the next couple of weeks. So some good news there, but again, always important to stay updated on what's going on in the tropics. And of course, here on 13 News Now, we'll continue to keep you updated for the rest of the hurricane season.